Checking the gram before class, Vicky? Hey, Vicky, how's your day going? Hold on a sec while I take this flawless model shot. Hey, where's that fan coming from? Whoa, you look amazing. I know. I guess I'll do a touch-up of my own here. Whoa! <gasps> is that really me? I knew I should have gone to sleep earlier last night. <sighs> Why'd I even come to class today? I'm an eyesore. Wait a sec. I know how I can get some color into this face. Have some colored pencils on hand? Perfect. Fill a glass with water and put a bunch of colored pencils face down into it. Now, let them soak in there for a few minutes. Ooh, look at the magic happening. It's been 10 minutes. Take those babies out. Now that the pencil's tips are soft, you can use them as eyeliner. Check out this fun rainbow pattern. Okay, Vicky, I'm ready for my Instagram story debut. <clears throat> Ooh, that's so red. How did you do that? I'll show you after class. It's easier than you think. Ta-da! See? Okay, let's take a quick selfie before class starts. Gorgeous, girl! Ooh, the classic kissy face. Hello, rainbow goddess. So, what's on the agenda today? Oh no, why am I feeling so much wetness? Ugh, looks like one of your pens must have leaked black ink all over your stuff, Amy. Ew, so gross, right? But maybe your stuff isn't completely ruined. Yep, that's the look of a light bulb going off. Wanna give your pens and pencils a little color? Fill a large container with water and your favorite colored nail polish. Go ahead and dump the polish into the water. Once you do that, feel free to add even more colors, randomly dispersing it. Now take your pencil and slowly dip it into the liquid and lift it right back out the same way. You can do this as many times as you like and can experiment with different colors. Wow, where did you get pencils like that? Want to use one? Thanks, Amy! Way to turn lemons into lemonade, girl. Have you ever been enjoying a snack when you suddenly are faced with pure, jaw-dropping beauty? Man, look at all those gorgeous colors! It's amazing! Where did you get your hair done like that, Lana? I gotta know! Who needs a salon when you have some blue eyeshadow handy? Simply take the eyeshadow and rub it directly onto your hair like this. Wow, I can't believe how easy that was! Love your style, girl! What can I say? I'm pretty awesome. To some people, studying is an art. And there are lots of fun ways to make boring reading a little more interesting. I've always underlined my notes and, needless to say, it's pretty underwhelming. What kind of highlighter is that? Okay, I'm about to drop some knowledge on you, Sophia. Simply take a regular yellow highlighter like this and bleed other colors right into the tip. You can do as many as three different hues. See? It's so simple. Give it a try. Whoa! It's like a pretty rainbow is bringing life into this boring science material. Yep, this highlighter has officially kicked my sorry little pen's butt. Studying suddenly doesn't seem so bad after all. Oh, hey, Lana. Lana? Your hair looks amazing! Pink is so your color. Yep, that's some real rocker chick hair. Way to go, Lana! Wow, why am I suddenly hating my boring brown hair? Ew. I got you, girl! Check out this super easy hair hack! Just spray some color on a brush, and boom! You're in for an exciting color explosion! Brace yourself, Lily! Here it comes! Whoa! Your hair's turning blue before our very eyes! Welcome to the fabulous hair club, Lily! Painting the walls may seem easy, but it's actually a bit more complicated than it looks. Hey, watch out for the… paint. Ugh! Did I just step barefoot into a bowl of paint? Ew, what the heck am I supposed to do now? Well, that's what happens when you never look up from your stupid phone, Bella. Actually, I think I have the perfect solution. Take a long piece of masking tape and place it diagonally above the stains like this. 
Now add more of the same color paint in the area with a sponge or brush. Once you're done, remove the tape. Add more tape in this design before adding more color, the same or a different shade to the area. Now it's time to let the paint dry. Phew, looks like I'm just about finished. Time to finally take a load off these tired tootsies. Oh yeah, that feels good. Whoa, Bella! When did you have time to go shopping? Why go shopping when you can turn your own clothes into your latest art project? In fact, why not do something creative with this extra bit of paint? Ugh, saved by the bell. Finally, it's lunchtime. Whoops, dropped my pencil. Oh man, we have the exact same shoes? Seriously? I guess that's what happens when you both shop at the same mall, right? I don't want to be another clone. How can I stand out from the crowd? These kicks are getting a makeover. Check out this hack to make a boring pair of white tennis shoes into a work of art. Take some tape and cover up the parts of the shoe that can't get any paint on them. Be careful with this part, any bleeding color can ruin the whole look of the shoe. There you go. Now it's time to put on protective gear. Breathing in dangerous paint fumes is no joke, people. Okay, I'm ready. Fill up a tub of water big enough for your shoe to fit into it. Now pick your favorite color spray paint and spray it into the water like so. Make sure to layer the colors just like this. Okay, now it's time to get dipping. It's important to do this part slowly so that the colors in the water don't mix together too much. Steady… Whoa, check out that awesome color pattern! You just can't get something like that with a regular brush and paint. Once the shoe is completely dry, go ahead and remove all the tape you put on before. Don't forget the bottom! Boom, baby! Dang, girl! Look at those rockin' kicks! Wow, where did you get those? Oh, these old things? I've had them forever. Whoa, what's all this? Oh, there's a note. Sophia, bake cupcakes, please. Amy. Looks like Netflix will have to wait. I'm playing Master Chef tonight. Better protect my outfit with this adorable apron. There we go! Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Looks like we've got eggs, oil, a mixing bowl… Well, since I don't follow recipes, I think I'll use a little extra brown sugar for this batch. Now for the eggs. And for a dramatic effect, I'll crack them this way. Perfection. Oh, I'd better mix this all together. I think I need a little something extra. Sprinkles! A pinch, perhaps? Okay, now what should I do? I know! Why don't I mix my two favorite things together? Oh yeah, this is gonna be good! Open up a clear ornament and spray paint the inside with sparkling spray. Don't be afraid to get plenty of it in there. Once that's done, take your sprinkles and pour a good amount in. Try to get as many to stick to the plastic as you can. You can move around the ornament to make sure to cover as much space as possible. Keep tipping it around and around so that all the sprinkles can stick to the plastic. Make sure to repeat the process on the other side as well. Reattach the ornament halves and find some string to tie to them. Leave some space below your knot so you can hang the ornament. There you go! Yep, that's sprinkle-rific, alright. Uh, Sophia? What's going on here? Where are all the cupcakes I asked you to make? I don't know, but look how cool this ornament is! Step aside, Sophia. There's a new chef in town. While she slaves away in the kitchen, I'm hanging my new ornament on the tree. Pretty festive, don't you think? Wow, look how gorgeous the tree turned out this year! 